Okay. Um, Ronnie's just asked me to assist him. And first of all, I just gotta say, so Ronnie, I come in every day, and Ronnie is literally out there power washing every entranceway at the rescue mission. <laughs> and then he turns to me and says, hey boss, is there anything else I can do? And I'm like, no, I mean, look at what you're doing. So Ronnie, it is amazing what you do. Thank you so much. I, Ronnie Mitchell, want to thank everybody, Mr. Gary Mann and Nicole Mann, and Mike at Cayuga, Cayuga Center. Center, all staff members there, uh, women's and men, and Mr. Scott, and my boss, Mr. Tom, that work here at the 155 Gifford Street Building downtown, helping me and allowed me and securing so I could work. Thank you, Ms. Debbie. Thank you for everything constantly, and Ms. Amber for everything constantly. And the, uh, a few more. Uh, we also want to thank Lori, Belinda, Glenna, Mary, uh, Davia, Gina, and Jackie, as well as Kendall. And you can see by this list that Ronnie is involved, right? <laughs> so give him a hand. Thank you so very much. All right, thank you very much. I really don't deserve this because my wife has been through a lot this past year. And um, I want to give this to her because to have your baby boy um, bedridden at 24 and I never really seen her cry but maybe twice but I'm sure she has she really deserves this because she stayed motivated and encouraged and um, I want to just give this to her and my son I would like to thank my father, my only father that I had, and that's God in my life. Um, I've been through a lot in the past five years with my real family, my adoptive family. Um, I've been down the dark road through drinking and fighting for my life. Um, I would like to thank Gary, my best friend, and um, Chance. Matt, all, like most of the rescue mission staff, um, they brought me lo love. They show me what love really is, because I never had it. No matter what I went through, no matter what I've done, I'm gonna be there for the young ladies and men that go through the things that I used to go through and help them with their life and tell them that it's gonna be okay and to believe in God and have God in your heart. Thank you guys.